It is with regret and profound disappointment that I find it necessary to address my colleagues today on my future as the Speaker of the Victorian Parliament. For the past couple of months, people have been asking me about my relationship with the member for Frankston. Media speculation has it the member dislikes me for referring him to the Ombudsman under the Whistleblowers Protection Act 2001 for the misuse of his parliamentary vehicle. But I believe that the member changed his mind about my role as a Speaker after I declined a number of outrageous demands that were made from him to me, demands that went against policy and regulations which I would not give in to. Ever since then, the member has gone to the media and spoken in Parliament of his lack of confidence in me as the Speaker. But I never once did he ever come to me and lodge a complaint with me about what he thought of me as Speaker. I also went with the, he also went out with the Labor Party publicly supporting his friend and supporter, the member for Evelyn, to be appointed as Speaker. Maybe he feels he'll get his demands met if she is actually appointed. My position regarding the member has not changed. I will not be doing any deals with the member for Frankston, nor will I be bullied or held to ransom to comply with his demands. And I suggest to the House that I have no confidence in the member for Frankston, and actually I believe that he is unworthy of being a member of this parliament. Despite the Leader of the Opposition saying he will never work with a member for Frankston, it's common knowledge to us here that the Opposition has been colluding closely with the member for Frankston for some time in their, effort to, in their effort to pressure me to step down by creating the chaos in Parliament that we saw late last year. Ultimately, ultimately the objective of the Opposition is to de destabilise the Parliament and to bring down the government. The unacceptable and unparliamentary behaviour of the Leader of the Opposition shows poor leadership or typical union tactics and, of course, his willingness to collaborate with the member for Frankston, who up until recently he saw fit to call a rotor and to say he was corrupt. And he also saw fit to arrange for him to be reported to the police on fraud and corruption charges, and it shows actually how low some people in politics will go. The public, of course, will judge for themselves right from wrong. To the Clerk of the Parliament, Ray Purdy and his staff, can I say his support, advice and assistance over the past three years in keeping me and my decisions in line with the standing orders of the Parliament has made my decision-making one that I know is right. My personal staff, Shanti, Jeremy and Mark, who have all shared my stress and supported me throughout the past several challenging months. I thank you for your professional assistance and friendship. To my wife Dawn and family, I thank you for your support and standing by me in the last 30 years as I pursued my career in serving my community, and particularly in the last three years in my position as Speaker of the Parliament. I believe in the best interests of the people of Victoria, for the dignity and for the traditions of the Parliament and the ongoing government agenda, that at the conclusion of this statement, I intend to suspend the sitting of the House for one hour to allow the parties to deliberate on the future of the Parliament and the position of Speaker. And whatever the outcome, I will remain and continue to be and serve as a member for Bass. I thank you all for your indulgence and I'm proud to be given the honour of being the Speaker of the Victorian Parliament. And I inform the House that I will be standing down at 3 p.m. today and I now suspend the sitting of the House for one hour. The House will resume when the bells ring.